Now, it's all about cleaning Ghana. Have you ever wondered where your kenke comes from? Well, it is emerging that the meal is sometimes prepared under extremely unhygienic conditions. A visit by the Joy Clean Ghana team to popular kenke spots in Choco reveals swarms of flies on uncovered fermented dough and utensils filled with dirty water and overtaken by remnants from previous cooking sessions. My colleague Manuel Granting was with the team, and here's his report. Get ready. Hey, there's another edition of Clean Ghana Camping, the Joy Clean Ghana Camping. Well, today, the train is docking at Choco in the Ablikuma South Submetro of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Well, today, we're doing a house-to-house -house inspection of, you know, sanitary conditions, how indeed uh, people are adhering uh, to the bylaws of the assembly, even within um, their homes. And you know that there's a plastic waste man is that being confronting this particular community, which is just about 100 meters away from the Atlantic Ocean. So this is where the focus is going to be. Want to follow me? My name is Mr. Clean Ghana. <laughs> Let's talk to um, Madam Florence Cucci. She's head uh, public health division of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Madam, uh, grateful. Today, you say what? Well, we, we, are, we are inspecting homes. Why homes? Yeah, today we are inspecting homes because the environmental health, uh, health promotion, we have series of uh, thematic areas that we do. We do for, we have the house to house inspection, we have the market sanitation, we have the operations, and there are so many. Then today, we want to test the house to house inspection and see, we want to see whether really, really people are going according to the bylaws of Accra Metropolitan Assembly 2017. Each house needs to register with an accredited waste collection company. We want to see that whether the houses around here, they have registered. If they have not registered, there is the likelihood that waste are being thrown either into the beach or into the drain. And we also check whether they, are, they also took opportunity on the gamma toilet provision to see whether they have toilet facilities in their homes. If they do not have toilet facilities too, this shows that they do it by the beach. Why? We want to unfold this story here today. And so that's what we're going to unfold I mean, this edition of the Joy Clean Ghana campaign. So you want to go with us um, as we begin the very exercise that we're here for today. Mm. So she's been ordered to just move to allow the um, officers access into this particular chamber, which uh, what, what they use it for. Madam, what will be a ha and a just look at baby e ha say dey na waha just na ha na hwe hwe wan kasa bra na be hwe ha hm e mori en na si ho no o si mori ni ho hwe baby a na just hwe baby a e mori na nkasa e kata so na hwe se ne yan wan na hwe fi o hwe e fi a e waha o de e mori a mo de ya dok no wan kasa fansa ka ha na hwe ade just fansa ka ha hwe ade e de na waha e ye den hm ana e ha e na mo ye aduane e ton e ma amanfo e ma mu di hwe nsio no kra mu di ye aduane hwe nsio na we na di yo ene we na di ye hwe difference hwe we na hwe we we na mo di mo di aduane no she different she say look at the difference we for mu nsio we anya nsio pa we ye di twetwe ni amani mu we na ye nsio pa we're in the pipe. 
so, so madam, what are we what, what are we gonna do now? What we are doing you can just look at where she is speaking. where she even put the fermented dough. The whole place is very dirty, very nasty. She just goes there, prepares this and come and package it neatly and put it here. You come, you think it's as neat as the surrounding is, but it is not. Just you we all saw what was happening inside there. So we are not going to allow her to sell this food. We want to do this so that people who are selling food to the public will ensure that the food that they sell for the public is made from a very neat and hygienic environment. The food that has, hasn't got any, uh, 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 what would I say, contaminated uh, 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 substances in them. That is why we want to take this food away. We wouldn't allow her to sell the food. When we take it tomorrow, she will make sure that she will clean this place before she sells the food. We are not just taking only the food. We are also giving her a notice, ensuring that she should clean this place. Then we will come back in two days' time to come and see to you that she has done the work before she can continue to pay the food. And when she is coming, she should also come and show us her medical certificate that we've given to her before she is preparing the food and selling it to the public. This is, this is the debris. Uh, Madam, what, what, what's this? What are we saying now? This is, this is, this is from her. This is the remnants of uh, the fish she fried. From here, it is going straight into the drain. You can just imagine, see, just look at. You the, drain, see, the drain is really choked. The drain is really choked. Look at onions. These are even uh, 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 what would I say? The, the 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 remnant of the food debris that she prepared the kenke from. You see. So that is the issue. So the people are agreeing in unison with um, the activities that are um, happening. They are only begging that the food is not carried out. But are you going to oblige them? Are you going to listen to them and not carry the food away? Now that they are saying the owner is not there, we will give her a notice, but we are going to instruct her to remove the food from the table. She is not going to sell the food. The food should be placed at the back. Then we, when the owner comes, we will see what to do. And before we leave here, the owner might have been back by then. But we've given her a so now we're closing her down? Yes, please. We are closing her down. So we're going to now move from here to um, the next spot. And that's indeed what's happening. Well, now she's been ordered. And you can see them carrying the sea, which contains uh, the meat and uh, the fishes that she sells, being moved away from the spot where uh, she sells them. Now we're moving into the area proper. This drain is supposed to be a canal that, you know, as it were, drains water from this part of the area down there to uh, the, the bigger lagoon. But now, as you're seeing, it's choked with plastic debris. I see animal carcass in there. I see also peels from vegetables and so on and so forth. At this time, uh, I found a Mobra Mobala Mudi Mobala Guhe. I have I have Fana Udugu and Sana or the Akoho. So she's taking us to where exactly where she put her refuse. 
so after inspecting um, her refuse collection point, now we're going to check the toilet, and that's uh, where she's leading us to. Uh, uh, well, another thing is catching our attention right here in the uh, house. <laughs> Because they don't have a toilet facility. So you can see this is H. A scripter inside a black <laughs> a container, a, right? No, it's a black chimpa pot. We call it chimpa pot. Hima a Look, even with maggot, it has been there for a long time. They've not poured it away. You see that it has there's maggot in the H. So I think I don't know, Madame Bra. Madam Bra, Madam, me pato. So wa who share a dia a wa dia mu aye. Dabi. Aye. Ona kunoni yomi. Kokata so kata so then a wa ho. Then a wa ho. Mama Bra, who na ufi a dia we mu kam. Bra. Madam, yes. This is say. Nimpa no your friend is saying. Adi a your friend. Adi a day. Madam, nimu. Madam, she. So wa anto boase. So the woman is proving a bit stubborn. She will not cooperate with the team um, as it is here. Uh, you're seeing the people um, a bit agitated. Uh, so the landlady is now, um, as it were, uh, pushing um, for the lady to release the information. She says that she knows uh, the, the owner, if you like, the occupant of this particular room. She mentions that um, this house belongs to her Grammy and now she is the caretaker of the house. Most of the tenants here, as she explains, do not sweep and she has to sweep herself and they pack the refuse, um, you know, some on others. And now uh, AMA officials are looking to serve notices to all the tenants in this house. Arrest, madam. Are we going to arrest anybody from here? What we have seen is if we make the arrest, we are going to cause chaos. We have served a notice already and we are going to follow with the notice. We've seen that there's no toilet facility in the house. It's because there's no toilet facility. That is why they do that. So we have served our notice uh, to all the occupants, including the landlord or the landlady. When the summons comes, then we'll know where who will go to court. What we want is the, uh, the nuisance to be abated. They have taken it, wherever they've taken it to, it is their own issue. But the health of the public is also at, uh, 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 at risk. You understand? Hey, there's not going to be any arrest. But, but uh, the, um, the tenants have been served notice. Inti mame, adia ya udi akate udi anesone ye. Inti udi once nanti na udi adia ye fi adia akate udi aneso. Osi ya fraud Doris, eh? Ma osi ya fraud say. Until I tell you, she udi ane a wuye baby a wote in once na kwa she she baby a eta uhu she she adia udi akate udi aneso inti ye ye. Pato wa pumbu ni krata wen. 
So as at now we've consecrated this kenke because where she is preparing the kenke is very bad. She herself she is sick and she doesn't even know the kind of sickness that she's suffering from. This is for this is for yesterday. Look at this. Mm, as at, as at this time, this thing. She <laughs> ka ho ni ebe abuo net koni itwe kwa ka ni ni emi abuo max keni bi obu weko oyo beglo le ya ko bi apo mi fe ni ni ndi ma ze le ni le hin ya ko poni ni madam e pa cho let me give he is seven okay so he's seven the notice now so what does the notice say the yeah. garden what what does the notice say yeah, the notice is saying that uh, she is preparing food for public consumption without the valid medical health certificate. Yeah, she needs to be uh, satisfied that look, she is free from uh, communicable diseases such as like typhoid, hepatitis, and then tuberculosis. Yeah, so without the health card, it means that she's not. If it, <coughs> it means that uh, she cannot sell food for public consumption. Is it what? Is it what? No, I do. Sorry. Why is your husband? If your outlet is here, you don't expect AMA to come and clean the drain for you. It's your duty to clean the drain in front of you. That is where your outlet falls. If the drain is choked, are you expecting AMA to come and distill the drain for you? Mommy, should I come again? Please come. We've been doing it by ourselves. <laughs> and then some of the leaders in this very area said, they've called the AME people, please listen to me very well. And they said every month we need to contribute. We did it once and then they came for it. Since then, they've not come again. So when we watch and the thing is full, and we are not the only people using the gutter. I cannot be doing it with my brother alone here. Every month. That Mommy. Is why you need to unite. In the community, you need to unite. You and that is what they say. Immediately, we you see, them, you see, immediately the money, and still the work is not which, going on. You, so which people do you fault. give your monies to? Oh, well, we don't know who. No, I don't want. So I, I don't want. I don't want, I don't want the, to one see. One I can give. Which of the AMA states? That is why I said when I call the leaders, they will just bring the AMA people out, and then you will know them. 
the drain is a public good. It's mm -hmm. not an individual good. So okay. all of you need to come together and take care of the drain. We've been doing it with assembly. And sometimes we normally do it and even to ask for tools to use it, they, they would never give us. We do go to this church, 70 apostles. I think it's SOS also. Normally we do take some of the tools from them. After that, then we give it to them. And this thing, we've been doing it all the time. One, I think, this is the time that we, 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 I'm not even having time. And moreover, I'm not staying here. For me, I'm at Kaswa. That's where I live. But that's my dad. I need to be here some, some of days to watch him. Please. So we've been doing it. And in fact, I can't be doing it alone. So, madam, what have you been doing today? So today, we did house-to-house -house inspection. And then some food vendors inspection, those who repair food and sell within the various houses that we visited today. So that is what we've done today. Okay, so what's been the impact of this exercise? In fact, today there has been an impact because we all had one woman and this Sheila saying what we are doing is very good. It has a very positive impact on her and the co entire community of Choco. Yeah, so houses that has no toilet facility, we have identified some houses without toilet and we've issued notice to them. We are going to make a follow-up and ensure that those houses provide toilet facilities in the homes that they are living. What, what does this say, what we found today, what does it say about the collaboration between, if you like, public health division and then the building inspectorate division of, of the EMM? Because most of the buildings we've seen are not really well planned. They are, they are, they are crammed together and so on and so forth. What, what, what does it tell us? Yeah, you see this area, these this are an indigenous area. And most of the indigenous areas, mostly, let me say, the fisher folks, that is when you go to or along the coast from Volta to Western. The indigenous communities, that is how they are. Yeah, it is an indigenous community. Mostly they are not, the layout plan is not always good but talking of collaboration the collaboration is there when you come to AME. most of the department we mostly collaborate and go out to do inspection of such natures yeah okay. so um what, what we're seeing now from what we've observed today what is a call to the public uh, people who are watching and listening right now what should they be taking note of when they're buying food for instance so what we are informing all the general public is when they are buying food they should always be cautious of where they buy food. They shouldn't look at the package of the food in front of where the food is sold. At the back of their mind, they should be thinking of where the food is prepared before it is brought. We, also, uh, and, uh, we are also informing the public, to, uh, it is your duty to check out from the person you are buying the food from to see whether the person is medically screened. You may not know, the person may be a carrier of a communicable disease that when you buy the food, you are likely to get it. So it is your, it's the duty of any person who is buying food outside to ensure, inquire from the person you are buying the food from, whether the person is medically screened. That is one of the things. And then we are endowed that the public, everyone should help. Sanitation is a public good. It is not an individual good. Sanitation is a national security issue. So we should all come together and ensure that we attain good sanitation and help to make Ghana a clean country. Well, that's Madame Florence Kuchi. She's head of uh, public health division of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. We're leading today's exercise of the Joy Clean Ghana campaign. Well, behind me, you're seeing this um, kiosk, or if you like, shop. It's a kinky vending shop owned by one Auntie Sheila. And she's also been giving um, an abatement notice. She used to report at the um, Ablikuma South submetro of the AMA for further actions. Generally, putting the question to you that where do you get your uh, your favorite ga kinky? Well, is it from somewhere like this or where? But that's left for you to decide as you go about your normal activities. From here at Choco in the Ablikuma South submetro of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. My name is Manuel Kranti. You can call me Mr. Clean Ghana, reporting for Joy News. And that is my colleague, uh, Manuel Kranti. So the question again, where do you get your kenke again? Hmm, you might want to reconsider. But uh, the right things ought to be done, Florence Gucci. It's a national security issue, she says. But from there, uh, talking about our food, Heifer International Ghana presents a breakfast meeting 
and uh, launch of the Youth Smallholder Farmers in Agritech Africa report. So the theme is the future of Africa's agriculture, the role of the youth and agritech in Ghana. And it's slated for today, Thursday, the 15th of July at 7.30 a.m. at the Alisa Hotel in Accra. I'll tell you what. This event will bring together some of the best minds in agri innovation, smallholder farmers and policymakers to find solutions to the challenges facing the youth in agriculture live on the Joy News uh, channel and all social media platforms. All COVID-19 protocols will be observed. And that is coming your way next after uh, this break.